What is up guys, Complicated91 here, and today we are tackling the Church Let's Build. I'm doing this on our Port Town server where we've been working on this awesome Port Town. And I want to apologize to you guys because this was our bakery that we built for the first episode. And this was going to be posted, and the problem is my files got corrupted while trying to convert them. So sadly I just, I just was going to post this one, and I couldn't. So here's just, I'm going to give you a quick little overview. This is what we built the first time. This was actually the start of the series, which kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, we're building a port town. As you can see, there's a lot going on around here. There's a lighthouse over there. We've got our um, ship right here. Um, sort of like a docks, whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember. There's not a sign for it. A uh, little merchant's area, general store. Uh, fountain and this is our big list of things to do like I said the bakery was gonna be the first episode and that's done already So our first episode is actually going to be the church because I decided I wanted to tackle the church on my own It's an awesome build that I've really been excited for So basically what's gonna go on with this is I'm gonna build this church probably in like our first episode and then in the second episode, I'm going to tackle a sort of cemetery and then detailing around it, like the sea wall and all that. So let's jump right into it, guys. All right, so without further delay, we're just going to jump right into this. I've grabbed all the basic blocks I'm going to need for this build, and we're just going to get right to it. Um, I think I'm going to bring everything in by one. I'm going to do this real quick, just this edge. Alright, and there is our first, our floor structure. This is just going to be what I use as my guideline whilst building this church. Uh, now we're going to move on and figure out the height that we want. I think I'm going to want to go at least six high for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And just do this all the way around. Actually, no, because this is this we're going to want to be one lower. Because we're going to create a slope of the roof. So these are only going to be five high. Five. Five. These are going to be four high. Just to create that, continue that slope, I think. So these can be a little bit lower. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, now that we've done this on that side, we're coming to the back here. I think these we're gonna do five as well. Um, and then this one will do the six. Yep, so there is our log structure, building this up. And now we're gonna come over to the front and figure out our windows. Let's just smash this sign real quick. Um, let's see, uh, stones and stone. I want glass for this, we'll put the spruce away for now. Uh, I think we're gonna do full blocks, because I like the way the full blocks look in this pack. Break that, break that. So threes, okay. Two, three. All right, so we're gonna put three highs in here. Do that, 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 that. All right, and then from there, we will take these, do this, this, boom, 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 slope. Okay, I like that for the most part. Uh, what if we bring that out now? Now, that, that, and this, and this, this, this. Is this add all of these we have our basic front design I'm not super happy with that actually the lower part I don't like the lower part um, boom 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 eh. uh, we do solid blocks and boom boom a little plane what about that that's not horrible. Let's try that. See if that grows on me. Uh, 
Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot more. All right, and then I'll just close this up real quick. Like this right there. Bring it out one. Uh, there. Shit, I'm bad at the stairs. Uh, come up above. Boom. All right, there's that. Bring this up there. church entrance right there now we're gonna come over to the sides and figure out what we're doing for the sides we're gonna follow our same pattern here uh, we're gonna come three high one two we're gonna do uh, windows like this I think these will come straight up to the roof because these are higher these are cathedral these are um, cathedral windows so just because that's how they would have been designed um, during the actual time that the, this kind of structure would have been made. And then we'll bring these up. This is, can't be super fancy just because it is just the port town, but I do want it to have a lot of detail and life just because that's how I like my builds. So do that. That's pretty much mirroring this. Um, since we can't do that, we'll bring these out along this um, I think I like that for the sides so I'm gonna duplicate that real quick on these next two all right now we finished this design on all three the only issue is figuring out this doorway now because this is a little bit too close so I have to try to figure out this doorway and how I want it to work because this doorway is the doorway that people are going to come out, you know, when there's like a funeral or something in the church. So I need to figure out this doorway to make sense. Um, I wanted it to be a two wide, but I don't know if it can be without it looking weird. Um, there's that. I can do that. Because um, then there's the roof that'll go on top of that. have to do that, but the door can just be here. You can just do a door. I don't know if we want a full block for that. We can just do that. That can be the door. Yeah, that can be the door. And that's where people will go out, you know, when there's a funeral. People will go out through there. Uh, maybe we'll make a second door here. Because, you know, this may be where they might carry out the coffin from the service and all that. Now I'm thinking about what it would be like IRL. Um, and this we can just close off a little bit. Maybe we can put a small window in here. Like this. We need to keep the foundation going. So we'll do that. simple here. Awesome. Alright, and there's the simple little design on that corner. I'm going to go ahead and replicate that on the other side real quick. Alright, and there's that side finished. Uh, we just need to quickly tie off these two walls. Because these are not actually going to be entrances. I think these are going... This is going to be like a little... Um, sort of office for the minister, you know, like a little place where he would keep different books and all that, you know. So I'm just, I think we're just going to go with the same basic um, wall design and close this off here, there, and we'll get our windows in. I think on this side we will reintroduce our little thing here. 
didn't like it on the other side, but I think it makes sense here. Just because it fits. Put that there. And that makes sense to put that there. Over here, do that there, and that there. And then on this side, we'll need to figure out the entrances now. Okay. So, those doorways, basically, that's it. Um, so, from there, I don't think we, I want to use these. We're going to use a different material. We'll use andestite, because I like andestite. Actually, what's the gravel texture? I don't like the gravel texture of this texture pack, so we're going to use andestite. Uh, grab some grass as well. Um. Okay, I'm not going to go super into detail here. I just wanted to get this basic little exit done here just so I had an idea of where it would be headed. Alright. So come out, go in here, look through here. That looks fairly normal. Um, we're just going to put a rim here just to cut it off a little bit, add a little bit more detail. There we go. That looks nice. We'll add the same little arches here. Actually, we're going to do a different style arch here. We're going to go here, here, and then here, like that. And we're going to do the opposite on the other side to create just this larger arch into the larger space. I think that will look cool. I like that. I do like that a lot. But we can make it better if we do this. Because then it just looks like arch. Okay, that looks even better. And then we can just close it off with a roof. Yes, I like that. Okay. Uh, this side, we're going to close off a little bit more, I think. Or not. We can just leave this side open. I don't think it needs to be closed off. Maybe we can just make it like a little space with some books. So it just looks like a little place where the church would keep some of its um, works and all that. There's that. Uh, we need our stone slabs back instead of this grass. Okay, so we have that layer there. What do I want to do with that layer? Do I want to just turn that into... Um, no, I feel like we should detail the inside with it. This will allow me to do my favorite little lighting trick for this sort of build, um, which I can pull up in just a second to show you what it's like. I think I like that. Not really. Um, okay. All right, I'm gonna pause for a second and figure out what I want to do here. And alright, I think I've had a solution with just these simple little support pillars. I did it on this side, and now I'm going to do it on this side just to show you guys kind of what I did. Uh, I just brought these up. Uh, one more, brought them out for a little bit of detail. And then what I did was I went around them with the stairs, like so. And like this. And I took the slabs and went along the windows like this. Now, the only thing is this doesn't allow for that lighting trick I like the exact way I like to do it, but um, I can still take the glowstone and we can smash this out, put this under all of these. Just because it's hard to light churches, you need to figure out um, different ways to do it. Just because you can't just put torches everywhere because that looks kind of weird. Um, even on builds like this, it just looks weird. So we're just going to tuck glowstone under all of these 
make it all nice and pretty. Once it gets dark, you know, there'll still be some light showing. And then from there, we just gotta figure out this back area. And then I'm gonna figure out the roof and then we can work on archways, I think, between these, because I want arches in this church, even though it's gonna be kind of simple. So we're gonna get rid of the glowstone. Uh, we're gonna bring these all up. What I like to do when I'm stuck for details in general is just continue um, using the same pattern, you know, like I bring up these, I just bring up that level of um, similarity just to create your build and get it to the point you want so you can have it look nice and that. Uh, so I think for these, I'm just going to build this up like this. I know it just kind of looks basic, but um, sometimes that's what you got to do when you're building just to figure it out. And then I think in these, I will do this and then glass. Actually, uh, here, we're going to make an exception. For the sake of making that look longer, we're going to do that. And then from there, I'm going to take cobble and bring it over all of this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to just rim entire um, build with it just to start to seal off the roof a little bit and give myself a little bit of a line to build the roof as we step back that gives me a little bit of a line to work with while working on the roof so now we can really get into detailing this um, let's see from here we got to figure out the main door I want to make this look a little bit more grand from the inside as well uh, we'll do that for now and then we can figure out more details um, once we have the roof figured out because that's the hardest part about churches, you've got to figure out the roof before you continue. Uh, we're going to take logs, and we're going to continue the archway line here. Okay, we're going to bring out one. Uh, this is just prepping for the roof. Just because for the roof, you got to have the detail to do this roof. Uh, from there... Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so from there we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And then from there, we'll have a different. The roof will have to kind of warp at the back to fit to the circular design. So we'll bring this up one more. We'll bring these up one more. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll look cool. And then in here, we can just do stone like that. Because the wood will show once, even once we seal it off. Um, all right. So there's that. I'm going to pause again while I figure out what I want to do with the roof. All right, and there's one side of the roof. I'm not sure if I'm entirely happy with it. We might come back and change it or alter it a little bit in the future, but just to give it a shot, I'm going to go ahead and replicate it on the other side for you guys. All right, now that we've figured out this much, we got to sit down and we got to figure out how to bring this to a peak nice and neat. So we're going to do this. I think we're going to do another um, double up, and then it will link like that question mark no it can't it has to go like that right then it goes like this yeah all right so we'll go like this across all of it we gotta do our upside downs here all the way across
down this side as well. Alright, now we take our pull blocks, go all the way across. I'm trying to cut out most of the grunt work for you guys just so you can really see it progress quickly but if you feel like I'm cutting out too much or too little let me know and I will make adjustments as needed because I do want to continue this series I want to build this port town and just have fun with it you know we have a giant list to work on so I think there's a lot we could really do with this I'll bring in different people for different builds I love building with other people bakery I actually built with three other people believe it or not it was a lot of fun and I'm really really sad that it um, ended up being screwed up so I'm just doing this one because it's nice and relaxing I had a lot of ideas with this one so it was a nice way to come back to everything you know being gone for what I was gone for six weeks yeah I was out of town for six weeks and now I'm back just trying to record the content and be ready for you guys with more content and just there's probably going to be a readjustment of schedule once I see how my year is going to progress and we should probably we'll keep a weekly video and a weekly stream but above that I'm going to have to see how the year goes so I will keep you guys posted as that changes but yeah for now we're just going to build things in Minecraft and be happy that I'm back to be done here anyways on this part of the roof that we can step back and look at it and see what we think. I think this will look good. And then we have the, um, oh crap, we closed out the piece. Alright, we're going to find this. Where is it? There it is. Because we're going to bring this out because this is the steeple right here. So we're going to bring this out from below. our church roof it's hard to detail these sometimes uh, I had to do that basic little all right, I'm gonna do this basic little side thing and then we'll be right back all right and now we're gonna sit down and we're gonna figure out these windows because there's too much normalcy here for me we need to have this extend a little bit more there just needs to be more detail into this roof so we're gonna grab some more of this cobblestone and we're actually going to force this up by one like so and then alter the roof to blend to it. So basically what that's gonna mean, I'm just gonna take this out like this, uh, and come out like this, maybe by three? Question mark? Um, bam, bam, bam. No, I don't wanna set things, ugh, I'm so stupid. I get stupid when I'm tired. Uh, we'll bring these out by one. cobble slabs. Actually, I don't like the cobble mixing with the, um, with the wood. Okay. Right, so this might not matter. This might just wrap around here. I'm going to do that on all of them, and then just see how that grows on me. Alright, and now all of those are installed. I'm not entirely sure what I think of them. Uh, we may alter them in the future, later in the build. I've put them on this side as well. as well. But if I think of anything different for those, I will most definitely change them in the future. If you guys have any suggestions uh, later on, leave them in the comments below. Because I, like I said, this will probably end up being a two-episode video. Uh, anyways, uh, we need to figure out how to neaten up this front. I think we're going to steps this, and then from there, we can take these and close them off on the front piece, like that. Um, from there, open up that one, just because we didn't bring 
one, two, two, three, one, two, two, two. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me just get that little recess. Um, I'm going to try a little bit of detail here as well. Actually, we'll bring this up one, two. Actually, we're gonna try some different things here. I'm gonna try a couple little circles on the way up, and then the room. We could fit another. That'll look cool. Yep, that looks cool. All right, uh, we're gonna change this at the top to get one more circle. All right, and there's the front of the church neatened up a little bit. Got some detail going on. Slam those down, add a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, let's move into the church. Not a ton of detail we can do quite yet inside. I want to stitch up this back roof real quick. So I'm going to figure out one side and then I will show the other side to you guys. All right, and here is the back of the church. I ended up just doing all of it because I needed to figure out how I was going to shape it. Um, probably just going to add a few more pieces here just to finish it up. I did the one section, but I don't think I like the just the one pieces on it. Yeah, I like that. We'll go with that for now. I may alter this in the future as well, just because I'm not entirely sure how to corner this properly. Um, so yeah, that might get changed in the future. But for now, that is the back of our church. Um, so if we drop down and we come inside, this place is completely blocked off. So I'm gonna take a second, get some lighting in here, and then we will get started on our interior. Okay, so while I was white lighting the church, I actually found a slightly better back design for this. Still not 100% happy with it, but I think I'm going to enjoy it more visually for now. We'll probably come back to it at a later stage. For now, we're going to move in, and we're going to start detailing the inside a little bit, just getting some of the structure set up. So let's jump into this. Uh, we're going to go across to... Up to this one's gonna go up more. Goes up to okay, so that went up all the way. Okay, one, two. Get that little archway. I gotta figure out how to perfect that though. Uh, we gotta grab our little stone slabs here. I do these to make arches look stronger and supported a little bit more detail. Uh, so we'll go up again like this. One, two. One, two. Up, one, two. Then we add these to both sides. Come up, one, two. One, two. Over, one, two. Up, one, two. One, two. Everything is in twos. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Alright, I think I like that. Let me change those. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna let that be. You know what, you know what's making it? It's that. It's these. I'm gonna change that so there's space there bothering me that there wasn't space there. It's like a crucial design feature for arches, that they have space there, to me at least. I see they walk in, there's a lot of detail in here already, there's plenty of detail to work with. Um, alter this because I want this to be cobble all the way up. 
that will cause that to have to be changed outside again. But I think we're going to call this for our first episode. We've done a lot so far. There's a lot I need to think about. Um, what I want to do, how I might want to rework. Obviously, this back needs to be rethought a little bit. But, um, yeah, this is our first episode. This is the at least the core of our church. Needs some work, needs some more love. But thanks, you guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of our Medieval Church Let's Build.